Hello, this is me Mudassir. In this video, we are going to cover the various stages of growth and development in a comprehensive manner, one by one. So let's begin without any further delay of time. We will begin our topic with the help of introduction, through which you can understand the proper concept. The helpless baby of today, who is adult of tomorrow, has to cross various stages in the process of his development. This also involves the development of physical, intellectual, social and character side of the personality. There are certain periods in the process of development where certain characteristic features of behavior stand out more prominently than other periods of life. They are termed as stage. The behavior of an infant is different from that of an adolescent. It is therefore desirable that for proper understanding of individual, we may dis divide their life into various stages. The following division seems to be satisfactory to not universally acceptable. First stage begins with the infancy period. It starts from 0 to 5 years of age. Second is late childhood period. starts from 5 to 12 years of age. Adolescence period starts from 12 to 17 or 19 years of age. After that, the uh, adulthood period begins. It uh, begins beyond 17 or 19 years of age. In the present chapter, we are mainly concerned with the first three periods of individual's life. So, we shall study first three periods of individual's life in detail. So, let's begin with the first stage, infancy and early childhood period. Characteristics of infancy and early childhood period. It was the age of infancy. Is it was the age of infancy. It was marked by an increase of independence on the part of the baby, and his he is able to sit, stand, and walk at his own will. The basic function of physical, mental, and personality development are laid in the stage. Psychoanalysis to stresses the importance in infancy. According to Adler, infancy prepares the style of life. It lays down the entire program for the future life of the child. Freud is also of the opinion that within 4 or 5 years, the child becomes what he has to grow in the coming life. In short, it can be said that infancy occupies a very important place in the life of the child. Hurlock calls it a dangerous life, referring to the large number of deaths of children in this period. She labels that at this stage, an appealing age, since the helplessness of the child appeals that pleases many adults, particularly the poetess and the artists. Let us have a look on the physical development. First one is size and weight. It is the period of rapid growth in size and weight. The average length of a newborn child is 19 inches, but especially it varies from 70 to 21 inches. The average weight of the newborn baby is 77 pounds, but it is observed that it varies from 3 3 to 16 pounds. The variability in uh, growth depends on heredity, diet, economic status, order of birth in the family and a certain other environmental factors. By the time the child is about 2 years of age, his height, sorry, his weight becomes around uh, about 25 pounds and an overall length about 33 inches. At the age of 5, the child is 5 times of his weight than at birth. Changes in proportion. Changes in proportion of the body are now visible. Different parts of the body like head and trunk begin to take proportionate size. Bones and muscles. There is rapid growth in the bones and muscles. Bones and muscles of a child begin to develop. He starts using his fingers by holding things, sitting, standing, walking and running. Teeth. The first tooth that normally appears in the child is at the age of 6 months. By the time the child grows 1 year old, 4 teeth appear. Approximately 16 teeth out of 20 have erupted before the period is over. Nervous system. There is a rapid growth of nervous system. During this period, the brain grows rapidly. There is a rapid improvement in the functions and structure of sensory organs. By the end of this period, the child is able to perform all the functions of seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, and feeling pleasure and pain and pressure, etc. Moreover, the glands begin to function properly. Let us have a look uh, on mental or intellectual development of the child. Mental or intellectual development, we mean the development of language, interests, power of memory, imagination, understanding, reasoning, thinking, intelligence, sensation, perception, and problem solving. Some of the characteristics of intellectual development of the stage are First one is development of language. The child at birth can only cry as an expression of emotion, pleasure, or pain. 
he cries at six months uh, up to six months age indicate that uh, his recognition of some new situation by the first year he may utter a few words like uh, ba, ma, ba, extra it is at uh, one to half years of age language development becomes more rapid at the age of two or three years he learns to speak very short sentences which are usually in the form of repetition of what the elders have said Professor Smith is of the opinion that the child at the age of one year is able to speak three words at the age of two he is able to speak 272 words at the age of five he learns 2072 words second interest is the child in his infancy is interested in only those things which are in connection with the immediate needs such as hunger and feeding slowly his horizon for looking at things widens he becomes interested in bright jumping and moving toys third child is asking curious questions the child becomes curious and put to such questions as what is it why it is so what has done it like that fourth is his fertile his imagination was very fertile the period of infancy is a period of fertile imagination like day daydreaming fairy tales fantasy make belief plain important pointers in the infancy period of the child the child thinks that his imaginary world is a real world in order to satisfy his instincts and ten tendencies he roams in the imaginary world at this stage it is necessary to give uh, due regard the recognition to the imagination of the child Fifth is sensory development. In the first month of the life of the child, sensory development takes place and thus the child learns to use his sense effectively. The child experiences many types of sensations like hardness, pleasure, pain, sensation of sound and smell. He can compare various sensations. Sixth is conceptus, preceptus and thoughts. Development of conceptus and preceptus begins at this stage. He is able to judge distances when he runs, walks and climbs. He has very little time sense. He is able to organize his thoughts and make simple generalizations, though all uh, these are very uh, rudimentary. At the age of five, he is capable of reasoning and thinking, but his reasoning is vague and uh, inconsistent. Let's have a look on emotional development during infancy period. Emotions play a tremendous role in the physical, mental and social development of the child. Some of the characteristics of emotional development are not specific. The emotions of the child are not specific at birth. They occur at uh, diffused states. They occur in diffused st states. He cannot show specific emotions like hunger, fear and joy as the adults do. It takes time to develop them as the child grow and reach at the age of two. There is a differentiation of emotions. Anger. Anger is the most common emotion in at this stage. It is arousal when adult force is used to restrict the freedom of the child. It is sometimes uh, used as a device for gaining the attention of the adults. Emotion of joy is also shown by children at the age of, of this stage. At this stage, they express their emotions it when they see familiar faces. Emotion of affection is also visible among infants. They show affection for their parents and other family members like kids and kins. Identification. J.B. Watson believes that three important emotions of fear, anger and love can be identified even in infancy period. Differentiated form. From uh, two to five years, the child is highly emotional and the emotions begin to show themselves up in differentiated form. If the child is not handled it properly, he will develop into an emotionally immature person. Spontaneous. The chief characteristic of emotions in early childhood between two to five years of age is that the emotions are spontaneous and the child cannot control them. There is decline uh, in word experience expression of emotions as he reaches later childhood. The child is highly emotional as his emotions are intense. He often runs into temper tantrum. His emotions are brief, basic, transitory and appear frequently. Let us have a look on the aspect of social development during infancy period. First one is self-centered. The child is not social at birth. The social behavior is not existent existent at birth he is self-centered his activities and interests revolve around himself dependence the child is fully dependent on parents psychologically and 
physiologically needs up to two years social relationships of child are strictly restricted by his home hence in this period family plays an important role in developing social attitudes and behavior before two years he engages in solitary play or parlor play in which the child plays indi individually though at the same place and with similar toys social play at the age of three child shows more desire to play with other children it is known as social play the size of play group increases with age from two members at three years to three or four members at six years of age sometimes he selects the special friend and rejects others he will often change his friends continuously fighting at the age of four children talk at length call names fight and tattle Friendship at the age of five, friendship is strong and fighting is less throughout the period of infancy, including early childhood from zero to five years of age. The child is self-centered in his social behavior. He likes to boast his of his achievements, and uh, with his family, when he cooperates, he does not uh, he does so at his own interests. Let us have a look on the forms of social behavior. Some of the important forms of social behavior occur commonly during the age are described here. First one is negativism. Negativism is a mechanism uh, in which the child refuses to accept the real life situations. He repels against authority or frustration. His most favorite response to adults is no or uncooperative gestures. Second is aggression. By the age of third, the child shows uh, definite aggressive behavior however with the increase in age there is decrease in the expression of aggressiveness querulous teasing and bullying sometimes aggressive behavior takes the form of quarrel teasing and bullying teasing consists of a mental attack on another and thus evokes anger in the other individual example calling names in bullying there is a physical pain in other example pulling hair of friends etc riverly riverly is characterized by the desire to excel or surpass others it appears at the age of four or five competition competition uh, for prestige is apparent at the age of four years by the age of six years most children have a well-developed competitive spirit selfishness the young child is egocentric in his interests only after the child begins to play with others he learns to submerge self interests in the interests of the group friendship and cooperation the signs of cooperative behavior appear sometimes when the child is about four years of age whereas the cooperative group work is not understood before the age of six years social approval with increase in age of the child child wants to win the approval of others first of adult adult and then of the members of his group or family let's have a look on educational implications or bearings of education infancy stage occupies very important place in the life of the child childless education for this stage the child should be specified and psychologically in nature first one is specific attention parents or the first teacher of the child it is they who play sorry who lead the foundation of education of the child therefore they should pay special attention to physical intellectual emotional social development of children and to take care of their education physical education a sound uh, mind houses in a sound body therefore the physical education should form an essential part of the education of an infant children should be suitably fed and given nourishing food they should be protected from southern, uh, certain weather conditions and various diseases as they are highly susceptible to diseases such as cold fever etc mother tongue effort should be made uh, to use the mother tongue as the medium of instruction for the education of the child at this stage because mother tongue is usually understood by the child power of reasoning and thinking should be developed so that they may keep themselves away from bad deeds the instinct of curiosity should be developed try to answer as many as questions of the children it uh, would broaden the mental horizon of the child Talking about social qualities, social qualities should be developed in the children through education. In order to develop the social qualities, the children should be divided into the various groups and made to play and work together. Peaceful environment. The environment in which the education is imported should be calm and peaceful. Music. Music uh, should form an essential part of the scheme of education. For this stage, the child is able to reform and improve the bestly tendencies 
teacher should uh, improve the basic tendencies of the child and uh, the music should be included in education play play is an uh, is the life of the child for the education of the child at this stage the guardians and the teachers should make arrangements for scientific and good ties and proper environment system of education through playway methods occupy very important place in the field of education of the children the teachers who use these methods should be of generous and nature and ready to help the children at conclusion we said that the development of child during infancy takes place at very rapid speed hence the environment of the child should be healthy and good for the development of the child and should help to receive them a good education in it is a duty of teachers as well as parents and uh, the guardians and the social reformers and government the guidance workers and the psychologists to pay proper attention towards the education of the infants let's begin the second stage of development that is late childhood period late childhood period is an uh, intervening period between childhood and adolescence the period starts at the age of five and at the age of 12. it begins with the entrance of the school and ends with uh, the onset of puberty when physical, intellectual, emotional and social changes takes place, the environment of the child widens during his period. The, this period is made rich by varied exper experiences of things and persons. Let us have a look on physical development during early childhood, sorry, late childhood period. First one is height and weight. Late childhood is a period of slow study and uniform growth. The child at the age of 12 is about 56 inches in height and 85 pounds in weight. Second, bodily proportions change considerably and uh, alter the overall appearance of the child. The nose becomes larger and the lower jaw also increases in size arms, legs, trunk increases in length and period of thinness begins. This rather gives an ugly outlook to the child. Third, growth and coordination of muscles. This is the rapid, uh, rapid and greater muscular growth. Uh, during this stage, the child builds up finger muscular coordination, finer muscular coordination and improves many muscular and motor skills teeth in this uh, stage in this period that the te teeth of the childhood start falling and the permanent teeth start growing nervous system during period of nervous during the growth of nervous system proceeds at a relatively slow whereas during the period of infancy the growth of nervous system proceeds at a relatively rapid rate sense organs and motor organs during this period the sense organs and motor organs of the child assumes complete development and progress Digestive system. Digestive system of a child is very tender and susceptible to be spoiled if not properly taken care of. Sex differences. In in this uh, period, the sex differences influence the physical growth. A girl child is taller on the average by half of a man, sorry, uh, by half of an inch and weights more on an average by three pounds than a boy. Let's have a look on mental and intellectual development during late childhood period. It was the period of intellectual advancement where new experiences are acquired and applied and mental horizon is broadened. First one is language development. By the time the child is 12, his vocabulary is sufficiently rich. He can speak, speak sometimes fully well. He be begins to use simple items. The favorite topics of discussion are day-to-day -day experiences, sex, girls, etc. He accumulates large amount of knowledge and information. He asks curious questions uh, to the elders and parents and tries to get answer from them. The, these questions are more definite than he used to put uh, during his infancy. Third, development of power of thinking during this period along with curiosity, power of observation, reasoning, remembering, recalling, attention and thinking including abstract thinking, abstracted thinking develops if during the infancy the child wants to know what is this then uh, in the late uh, childhood, he tries to know why is this so. Sensory equipment. His sensory equipment becomes well developed. His power of perception becomes keener and more accurate. He, his vivid memory gives place to the logical thinking and he can generalize on the basis of his experience. Fourth, import of reality into the world of imagination. During this period, the child realizes that the world of reality is the real world for him. He ceases to live in the world of imagination fifth one is the development of concepts child develops the concept of time fully he also develops the idea of length and distance 
Sixth is development of interesting during this period the interests of the child expand his he likes books about travel biography science adventure fairy tales of crime mystery and romance interests in collection reaches at its peak th uh, through this period mobile phones and movies are holding a strong appeal for him let us have a look on emotional development during late childhood period first one is stability and control in this period, uh, this is the period of stability and control. The child now comes to have a control over his emotions and his emotional behavior is guided by rational expression. He gets angry about, uh, does not let it be accepted. He gets frightened but tries to show his courage and bravery. He is still joyless, maybe of his younger brother or his bright class fellow but does not cry. His expression of joy is expressed by a smile and not by a rollicking laughter. He expresses his affection very modestly and on limited occasions. He does not like to be kissed at this stage because he thinks that there is sex in it. He does not like to be nicknamed because it hurts his ego. He learns to pretend at this stage. Sentimentous generally it is the stage that sentimentous and complexes are formed. Let us have a look on social development during late childhood period. Considerable changes take place during this period of social sorry in social behavior the child gradually becomes less of an individualist he acquires certain following the qualities like play in groups at the age of six or seven the child tends to play in small groups he seeks playmates and spends most of the time with them team games he likes to play team ga games between the age of 11 or 12 he likes to take part in these team games and uh, he will make group or games become more more important during this period. At this moment, the child learns to adjust himself in a group. He learns to cooperate with others. He learns to prefer group interest, interest to self-interest. After that, group loyalty. Group loyalty grow and the child gets opportunity to obey and command of his parents, elders as well as teachers. Leadership. Leadership. Sometimes the child may assume the leadership qualities uh, in the gang or group as well. Sex differences at about the age of 8 to 10, the sex differences are marked. Boys and girls live in separate gangs. Boys usually take interest in competitive games like football, hockey, cricket, kabaddi, etc. And the girls show interest in indoor games, but when they when they have provided the opportunity, they show the interest in badminton, etc. Each gang has a special badges and uh, secret passwords. Boys' gangs are usually larger, rules are followed, rules are followed more strictly in girls' gangs. Planning. Planning. The child can plan his own activities or and organize them in his own way. Thus, the social qualities of uh, initiative, organization, and coordination develop in him. Consciousness of social socioeconomic status. Children uh, show consciousness of social eco socioeconomic status of the parents. It results into the many prejudices and differences. The child of low economic status may be seriously handicapped in his social relationship. Example, he is ashamed of his clothing and uncertainty of his manners. Parents and teachers should tell the children at this stage that they should not have these prejudices. Let's have a look on the forms of social behavior during late childhood period. These are like first one is susceptibility of social approval. One of the was one of the most type of social behavior in uh, the gang is susceptibility to social approval and disapproval. As soon as the child begins to crave the companionship of others, he wants their approval in dress, speech, and so on. After that, suggestibility the individual is very suggestible to abide by the wish of the gang members during this period. Contrast suggestibility where the suggestibility increases in the children for the members of the gang. Their Contrast suggestibility also increases the child revolt against any advice from elders. Rivalry and competition interest in social intensive incentives like uh, competition becomes very pronounced at this time. The rivalry and competition may be seen in the children at the three levels. First one is uh, rivalry among the group members of recognition, rivalry between the members of one gang with members of the other gang, rivalry between the gang members or and organized agencies of society in the first case group solidarity is weakened in the second group solidarity is built up where in the third case independent on the part of gang members is attained after that social insight social insight normally increases with the age uh, those children who have better social insight are able to adjust better in their society group play group play the child tends to play in group sex cleavages in the early childhood period boys and girls play together at the age of 8 to 10 years a cleavage state status develops between the sexes they refuse to play together this attitude persists till puberty after which it starts declining
talking about educational implications or bearings of education during late childhood period frankly speaking this uh, stage of development is the mirror of the whole life of the child it reflects past present and future what the child will grow can be guessed at this stage first one is for the proper development of the body the teacher should provide well organized games for children he should see that every child takes part in these games he should also report the cases of illness among the children uh, to the ha head of these institutions to the respective parent for care the teacher has a very important role to play in the intellectual development of the children as history and arithmetic should be explained to him as they happen to be related to life education through activity and play method should be encouraged at this stage institutions should try to make an arrangement scouting girl girl guiding students union debating societies exhibitions dramas plays and games with such a system of education their physical mental powers continue to be active children should be made to learn abstract concepts like happiness honesty and truth from concrete life situations and the atmosphere in the school should be such it provides emotional security to the child the teacher should try to best to sublimate the various emotions of the child because emotional shocks can lead to the deformity and uh, of the personality of child as regards the social development and gaining spirit among the children the teacher should try his best to provide large number of co-curricular activities in the school uh, in a democratic ways should be adopted in the organization of these activities and the child at this stage tries to live in the groups or gangs therefore it should be kept in mind that uh, he should not uh, be allowed to move in groups or bad persons curriculum curriculum should be of such a type that it is an of interest of the children and may be useful for their future life at conclusion we say that the stage of development plays a very important role in the development of the personality of an individual as well as a child in order to establish they appear thin generally boys are heavier and taller than girls but adolescents between 12 and 14 it is the girl who is taller and heavier as she develops earlier than male child it is for this reason that in these years girls consider boys for the same age as younger and prefer be with boys a couple of years older than themselves an ideal society parents teachers psychologists and educationalists will have to build up and competent and able children who should have uh, qualities like truthfulness cooperation industriousness self control self dependence obedience and discipline in them with such children we have we can dream of having world society and fraternity let us begin the third stage of growth and development which is adolescent stage adolescent is the most important and critical period of individual development with which the teacher has to deal adolescents have faced various difficult situations and education should be organized to enable them to face all these problems in life the adolescents have to be educated so that they should also build up their life in a way that they may be successfully bring about the welfare of society parents as well as teachers and educationalists have a vital role to play in the life of the adolescents they can build up their life in a successful manner hence they should have a knowledge of general characteristics needs and problems of the adolescents talking about some important uh, highlighting points of adolescents first one is understanding the characteristics and problems to deal effectively with the problems of adolescents teacher and parents must know their developmental characteristics and problems they should also understand the casual factors of the problems of adolescents so that they can make a suitable educational vocational personal guidance for them and they will be important for making an edu educate social adjustment maintenance of mental health at the stage at the period of adolescence is marked with many problems which influence the mental health of the children the study of adolescent period is very important in order to preserve cure and prevent incidences of maladjustment adjust to responsibilities the study of psychology of adolescents provides the knowledge of needs and developmental tasks for adolescents parents as well as teachers can help the adolescents to adjust to their responsibilities by ad by responsibilities by understanding the needs of adolescents and the teacher and administrator can frame curriculum in such a way that school policies and methodology of, of teaching for adolescents should be improved meaning uh, let's look have a meaning and definition of adolescents adolescent refers to the period of development and adjustment during the transitional period between childhood and adulthood as we all know that the period emerges from 
childhood and merges into the adulthood during this period the establishment of child goes away and revolutionary process of change starts in fact that it is the period of revolutionary change it is marked uh, by the period of growing up during uh, which the child develops into the man or woman as the term uh, is used today uh, it has uh, a broader meaning that it had in earlier years instead of limiting the adolescent period to the time when an individual grows maturity sexually it uh, is not extended until the individual is expected to be intellectually emotionally and socially mature Atomo etymologically definition the term adolescence comes from the word adolescence which means to grow or to grow towards maturity biological and chronological definition from the biological point of view adolescence is a stage when through but puberty down chronological Chronologically, this is the span of life ranging from 12 to 19 years of age and having individual and cultural differences. Social definition of uh, adolescence is uh, trans it is a transitional period from dependence on parents to self-sufficient adulthood. Cultural definition culturally, adolescence provides varies from community to community in some communities marriage among boys and girls takes place at quite early as early as 13 or 16 years of age. Psychological definition of adolescence, it is a marginal situation which involves psychological dis disturbances and problems of adjustment. It differentiates the child's behavior from the adulthood behavior. Gerslid states that adolescence is the span of years during which boys and girls move from childhood to adulthood mentally, emotionally, socially and physically. Kohlin defines adolescence as a period which is characterized by sexual, social, occupational and ideological adjustment and striving independence from parents. According to Stanley Hart, he regarded adolescence as a period of great citrus and citrines, torment, strife. Biggie and Hunt Biggie and Hunt have remarked that the one word which is best to characterize adolescence is change. The change is psychological, physiological and sociological. The incident incidents of this period greatly affected the whole personality of the individual that's why it is called the most crucial period of the life so let's have a look on the characteristics of adults and period first one is rapid physical physical development like growth and physical changes First one is increase in height and weight. Adolson high adolescent's height increases rapidly. His weight also increases due to the increase in bonus muscles and maximum limit with uh, regard in uh, increase in size, height, weight is achieved. Their weight generally follows uh, to cope with the increase in height. So they appear thin. Generally, boys are heavier and taller than girls. But in adolescents between 12 and 14, it is the girl who is both taller and heavier as she develops earlier than a male child. It is for the reason that these years are considered boys of the same age as younger as preferred to be with boys a couple of years than themselves. Second is rapid development of bones and muscles. The bones and muscles of adolescents develop very rapidly as they reach their final body type. By the end of adolescence, the muscles of girls remain softer while those of boys become hard and firm changes in bodily proportions different parts of the body grow at different rates and reach their final size at different rates arms legs grow longer hands and feet grow bigger the trunk also grows to its full length shoulders broaden late in adolescence the abdomen uh, increases in width and size facial features also change the nose becomes larger and assumes final shape the forehead becomes wider the chin becomes longer as the proportions of the body change the adolescent therefore looks awkward and clumsy Changes in voice, there is a distinct change in voice among the two sexes. The voice of the boy deepens and becomes harsher, and while as the girl's voice occurs shrillness, shrillness and becomes sweet. Increase in size of genital organs in adolescence, there is an increased growth of external genital organs in boys, growth of testicle usually in apparent earlier than uh, growth of penis. The left uh, testicle usually hangs somewhat lower and uh, often slightly larger than the right. The growth of genital organs may have many psychological implications for boys, especially in groups where they motion provides that a big penis is especially in an important mark of manliness breast development and growth of pelvis the growth of breast is an increase in the size of pelvis the girls are among the notable changes that can have a very significant effect on the adolescent girl's conception of her physical self Night emissions and menstruations at the beginning of the adolescent period, sex glands begin to function. In case of boys, the seminal glands begin to work, semen is produced, and there is a night emission discharge of semen during sleep, accompanied by erotic dreams which horrify the ignorant adolescent. There is reawakening the repressed sexual impulse which remains dormant. In late childhood, the girls begin to menstruate monthly during the adolescent period. 
so it becomes them for uh, disturbing and horrifying experience hair growth hair growth there is an growth of hair in pubic regions under the arms legs limbs trunk and ties there is an appearance of breed and uh, more catches in case of boys increase in blood pressure during early childhood girls have higher blood pressure than the boys but with the beginning of the adolescent period the blood pressure increases in boys and different di difference increases with age increase in plus rate plus rate like uh, other organs of the body like size of uh, size and weight of the heart and the growth of heart is higher among boys than girls during adolescent period the pulse rate increases in both the sexes but the increase becomes less as the individual grows older the digestive system during adolescent adolescence the organs of digestive system also undergoes quality to change as a result of this change adolescent has desire to eat more let us have a look on emotional characteristic or changes of late childhood period adolescence is the age of emotional upheavals there is no mental peace calm and quiet for the adolescent and there is no serenity of mind for him the period of adolescence has been remarked by emotional storm and stress some of the characteristics are heightening of emotions adolescence is a period of heightening emotionally the adolescent are very emotionally disturbed due to the physical and sexual development the emotional the emotions are very intense when an adult and hates someone he becomes strongly and when he falls in love he uh, does so patiently various variations in emotional modes emotional modes of adults and vary from evaluation uh, to depression one at the young adults and up in the clothes and next he's on the depth of despair he sometimes thinks that committing suicide from Mm, tears to laughter from self confidence to self depreciation from selfishness to altruism and from enthusiasm to indifference all the common reactions of young adolescents it is clear that adolescents are not consistent in their emotions not under control emotions of adult adolescents are not under control outbursts of temper are more moored in his emotional makeup during this period he remains tense and anxious during this period he is emotionally unstable complexity complexity adolescent experiences a number of emotional upheavals and storms his emotionally developed development becomes complex by the experiences he get in his environment development of abstract emotion generally children show emotional expression in relation to concrete objects but adolescents can express their emotional feelings in relation to objects which are abstract realism in emotional experiences adolescent enters the period of reality he can perceive and appreciate people around him he can recognize the weakness and strength of one's character capacity of sharing emotions adults and develops an increased capacity of sharing emotional experiences with others he develops the capacity of concern about the feeling of other, others widening loyalties emotional development begins from the home environment of an infant and during the adolescent period it is widened widen be beyond the home environment and neighborhood these loyalties are identified with peers and leaders of the various fields increased compassion compassionate means fellowship of feelings to be compassionate means that the person is able to enter into his own feelings and appreciate the emotional feelings of others common emotional patterns uh, that means the most important it is the most important pattern of the adolescents included love anger jealousy fear worry and we some of the more complex emotions of adolescent period are have river riverness gratitude scorn contempt hatred joy grief pity shame etc emotional love emotional love is uh, one of the most dominant emotions of an adolescent period this is due to the development of sex instinct which takes place during this period there are three phases of sexual development auto erotism usually the self love the adolescent becomes self conscious he loves his body he wears costly dresses to attract the attention of others he stands before the mirror for quite a long time on the most prominent and common mal practices in which the adolescent indulge in is masturbation that is self stimulation of the genital genitals as the means of seeking sexual satisfaction homosexuality during this phase the adolescent show sexual activity with the members of the same age and early adolescent uh, boys mix with the boys and girls mm, with girls only they have more interested in their own sex heterosexuality at this phase the uh, object of attraction the member of the opposite sex adolescents show keen interest in the activities of members of the opposite sex emotion of anger the adolescent is m made angry when he is uh, teased ridiculed criticized or lectured when he feels that he and his friends are 
unfairly treated or punished by parents and teachers he privileges that and considers fear and refused when he was treated like a child when people impose upon him or when people are bossy and sarcastic in addition he becomes very angry when things do not go right when he is unable to accomplish what he said sets out to do then uh, he is interrupted at times when he is busy with preoccupied that young adults and experiences many frustrations when he is looked or blocked in doing what he wants to do emotion of worry among adults and school work is most uh, common source of worry tests and examinations in school are chief source of source of worry connected with the school work Here, young adults and girls worry about their appearance health problems cloth clothes money vocational choice about joy and uh, girl uh, about joy and also the boy and girl relationships is seems to be difficult in making friends in suitable places for recreation boys worry more than girls about ability and money in the worry in these worries about social relations girls are more concerned about their reputation popularity dates and marriage frequently and uh, pro prolonged worry often lead to anxiety emotion of jealousy the young adolescent is interested in the members of the opposite sex and he craves popularity with them those who attain this desired goal arrow julius reactions in those who are overlooked or scorned by members of the opposite sex let us have a look on mental or intellectual development during the late adolescent period or we can say that mental or intellectual characteristics of adolescent first one is development of intelligence adolescent is a period of maximum growth and intellectual development intelligence reaches at its climax during this period intellectual powers like logical thinking abstract reasoning and concentration are almost developed up to the end of this period Increase in span of attention during adolescent period. The span of attention increases. The adolescent can attend to one thing for a longer period of time. His power of concentration is increased. Development of memory. Memory also developed and it tends to function more logically. It's better than any other stage. Development of imagination. Adolescent possesses excessive imagination. Writers, artists, musicians, poets, philosophers, and inventors are born born in this period. Improper channelization channelization of imagination and uh, dissatisfied needs may turn into adults and into daydreaming he builds castles in the air hero worship hero worship is very important in adults and period and adults and beginners to worship his ideal men are women and he tries to model himself or herself hero for an adult and may be film star a political or religious leader or a poet and artist a scientist a wrestler or a teacher sometimes the hero worship turns in love once the hero is selected the adult and tries to follow him or her blindly widening of interest is interests of a young adults and this are numerous and varied the most important categories of these interests include recreational interests social interests personal interests vocational interests interests in school religious interests and sex interests talking about recreational interests recreational interests or the favorite some of the favorite recreational interests of adults and are interests in games sports like swimming basketball football tennis stories novelist adventure romance movies with adventure romantic mystery and comedy theme listening to music and watching mobile phone there is an increase of preference of for programs of dance and popular music as adults and progress humorous sketches as plays also have a great appeal among boys especially mystery crime and detective programs uh, are popular social interest social interest is adults and in social interest adults and becomes markedly interested in all the forms of group group activities as well as activities with one or more intimate friends he becomes very social he takes interest in social activities sometimes he does not does social service at the cost of personal inconvenient sorry inconvenience personal interest is with the awakening of the interest of the members of the opposite sex interest is in appearance in dress and in personal adornment increases interest in appearance cover covers not only clothes and personal adornment but also the every aspect of appearance like hair style body size facial expression skin and nails are all the focal points of interest of the young adolescents vocational interests young adolescents begin to think seriously about their future and kind of vocation they want to make their life work girls plan ahead less than boys because the first time uh, or the time of marriage is unpredictable boys are more se seriously concerned about the problem of vocational choice religious interests adults and take interest in religious matters and religious techniques they talk about religion to their friends they became interested interested in knowing the nature of god 
nature of God, hell and heaven, sin, life after death, adolescence, agonizing themselves in prayer as a meaningful personal experience under unusual circumstances such as the time of important examination. The child can also prove an interest in sexual matters when adolescent boys and girls get together with the members of their own sex they are likely to talk about sexes they are more intimate the groups the more intimate the subject of sex becomes they discuss such matters as what is real love how can one tell the love is real or not what is the sex relationship in marriage problems related menstruation and nectoral emotions sorry emissions and sexual feelings and attractions let's have a look on social characteristics or social developmental changes during adolescent periods sex consciousness in adolescent stage the individual becomes very conscious of his sex at this stage boys and girls want to attract uh, be the number of opposite sex they want to have friendship with their uh, members of opposite sex social consciousness social consciousness is also developed during adolescent period at foster period they want to be praised by their parents teachers and friends they know their their status in the society they want to social approval of various modes of behavior group loyalty adolescent boys and girls form their groups and discuss their problems freely they became very loyal in their groups and they learn the qualities of sympathy competition cooperation obedience and leadership sometimes parental demands are ignored by him in face of demand is made by him by his group he often comes clash with his elders who do not approve of his group affiliations social service in adolescent stage ideals of social service and altruism are formed and cherished social service in public gatherings fairs and festivals become patient for adolescent he does not in the personal inconvenience in uh, doing of such service let us have a look on the needs of adolescents adolescents period is has an already been pointed out it is the most critical period of life during the various physical emotional disturbances occur so adolescent experiences very difficulties problems arising out of certain basic needs the following needs of adolescents are like need of freedom and dependence adolescents consider themselves as full fledged adults so that they do not want to remain under the control of elders and feel the need of independence and want to exercise their own opinion they create this creates difficulty among them and parents and teachers should regard them as full fledged individuals and should give them freedom and responsibility need of association with the opposite sex during this period sex in instinct attains maturity and it was it was and is very forceful adults and decorate their polish to attract the opposite sex they feel the need of association with the opposite sex sometimes they are not satisfied with mere association but they feel the need of develop intimacy the poet has rightly expressed the sexual calling of developing adults and the following couplet let's leave it so the parents and the teachers should provide opportunities by which their needs can be sublimated need for self support self support implies what they would like to do and become in life so that they need their needs to be fulfilled by providing them educational and vocational guidance so those courses should be selected in which they have a special aptitude and interest need for philosophy of life adults and being mentally mature assumes independent outlook regarding every activity of life they make interests in the matters of religion their topics are not discuss philosophy but to talk about the conduct religion and destiny so it is the duty of the teachers and parents to satisfy this need by providing religious teachings and moral training otherwise there there will be conflict between the teachers sorry parents and adolescents need for security adolescents suffer from loss of support from parents adolescents should be given sympathetic attitude and guidance so that they may not suffer be from complexes and frustration need of self recognition adolescent is a period of self decoration and adolescent become very self conscious in this intense desire he tries to attract the attention of others and they want to display themselves in every activity the underlying idea is that and they need to self recognition so it is duty of the parents and teachers to give them full place they should be fully recognized as full fledged individual need for success failure disintegrates the whole personality while as success leads to the adjustment hence every ado- adolescent has a desire to gain success in all the activities and undertakes the school therefore should organize the curricular and co-curricular act- activities in such a way that all the pupils achieve success in the activities by they pursue need of better food the adolescent is a stage of rapid development the body develops in height weight and other aspects therefore they need better food both in quantity as well as quality more this stage than in other stage of life the parents and teachers 
and the educators should see that the children can get simple and rich diet in proper quantity and quality at suitable time desire for new experiences the adults and is never intersected in sorry interested in routine he is interested in new and new experiences this urge or desire can be satisfied by arranging trips excursions and other co-curricular activities in the school parents teachers and educationalists should keep in their mind that the adults and need satisfaction and they provide the needs as far as possible education for adolescents as i already uh, told you that uh, almost in every adolescent finds very difficult to adjust to himself in family and society society at large most of the adolescents suffer from frustration com conflict is complexes anxieties and worries this they experience difficulty in physical mental and emotional and other adjustment however but whether needed uh, is an understanding of psychology and adults and have then to do our best to help him or his difficulties a few concrete things and suggested here the physical exercise and activities adoption adolescents bring a period of rapid physical development as we already know that physical exercise activities like sports drills games dancing hiking gymnastics wrestling football kabaddi cricket etc are introduced in school curriculum according to the stanley hall dancing can be sort of the best job he says that dancing is one of the best expression and pure play and a pure motor need of youth perhaps it is the most liberal liberal of all the forms of motor education appropriate lectures and sex education appropriate lectures about the physical growth and development should be delivered and uh, scientific explanation of certain growth and various parts of the body and the school should import full information of the students regarding the proper balance of diet personal hygiene cleanliness various diseases and measures to check these etc the sex edu education should be given in free frank and scientific judicious and impersonal manner to the adolescents so that they may not pick up wrong information and come under the immoral influence girls should be educated as regards menstruation as boys as regards to involuntary changes brought in genital organs no body is better suited uh, to this job than parents and teachers realistic and straightforward answer should be given to the questions regarding sex discouraging tight and sleeveless dresses tight and sleeveless dresses should be discouraged as they excite sex in this instinct Symptomatic affectionate attitude. Attitude: The child gets puberated when he looks at various physical and psychological changes uh, that take place in him. Hence, it is the duty of parents and teachers that they should behave in sympathetic and psychological manner, respecting individuality. It means that individuals of adults should be respected and their opinions should be taken by parents concerning their choice of career and or profession and marriage. Democratic atmosphere. there should be a democratic atmosphere in school chance of leadership training should be there and there should be the provision of various societies and associations in the school co curricular activities adults in is a period of intellectual development so there should be co curricular activities in the form of debates declamation contests paper reading contests conferences poetical uh, symphonism literally art painting musical and dramatic clubs and societies ncc squatting girl guiding and excursions and trips to various places of historical geographical scientific and cultural importance tasks of responsibility tasks of responsibility should be given them so that self government should be introduced in school so that they may accept the responsibility and get some social status and exercise their own judgment high moral and religious education moral and religious education should be given to adults and this stresses the importance of value of prayer in morning assemblies and celebrate the birthdays of great saints of all religions parents teachers and religious leaders should not teach or propagate of narrow religion but spirit of brotherhood and humanitarianism uh, should be taught propagated and cultivated the pupil must be helped in the formation of development strong mental sentiments uh, and ideals like patriotism patriotism nationalism self sacrifice honesty truth beauty and goodness cooperation of parents cooperation of parents must be sought parents should cooperate with the school and college staff in helping the adolescents in solving their difficulties they should provide them good hygienic conditions uh, to the adolescents at home and helping them solving their problems and the atmosphere should be free from any tensions and worries moreover the parents should have a knowledge of psychological psychology of adolescents school center of community service school as a center of community service 
uh, which the students are taking an active part of doing community service dignity of labor should be recognized and social disparities should be removed by education guidance centers guidance center should be started to that adolescents may get suitable educational vocational and psychological guidance there should be well trained and experienced guidance workers and counselors they should help the adolescents in solving their problems and making personal and social and psychological adjustments at conclusion we said that mm, the adolescent is a period of stress and stream stra strife and storm